So far we have seen camps with uh, some special displacement, velocity, acceleration or even higher derivatives like jerk profiles. So these were giving us some motion characteristics that we were looking for. Uh, here we are going to look at a cam which will give us a special path. Uh, we have seen the simplest path a machine can generate is a circle because attach something to a shaft and it will start tracing a circle. But uh, generating a straight line was a little bit difficult and we have seen uh, that in straight line mechanisms. We had to use some special geometry. Uh, here we are going to use uh, a cam to achieve not just a straight line motion but something that is made up of multiple straight lines, say a polygon like a triangle. So we are going to achieve a triangular path using this particular guide and there will be a special profile, you might call it a cam, uh, which is going to rotate inside it. So let us place this rotor in our guide. So we have a triangular guide here and we have an oval shaped uh, rotor inside. This rotor is making contact at three points, say one with this side, other with this side and the third one is with the third side of the triangle. And then we can make this move uh, within this cavity, this triangular cavity like this. So we can move this. So it retains three points of contact with the triangular cavity and therefore it has a unique position at any given point or any given rotation for that matter. So it will start rotating in the cavity like this. You can rotate this here to get a better view. Right. Uh, now uh, we can uh, add something to this. So let us add say two tracing points to this. So these two points, uh, let us set it in motion again. And uh, if you want, you can place a pencil at these tracing points. So we have two pencils here. And now finally, let us see what kind of path they trace. So this is the path. And you can see it is a perfect triangle, a mathematical, um, uh, mathematically correct triangle. So those straight lines are indeed straight lines. And it is tracing a equilateral triangle. So imagine, say, uh, instead of pencils, you have cutters, so you can even drill a triangular hole with this. Now, if you're curious about the kinematics behind this, then let us uh, get rid of this pencils and the path and just keep these two tracing points. So if there is a point of contact and this tracing point is moving along a straight line parallel to this, then obviously this profile here, okay, the nose of this cam, if you will, is uh, going to be a circular arc because that's the only way of keeping a point at the same distance from a line by making this point at the center of a circular arc which is making a contact with this. The same can be true here. Okay? So this is made up of essentially four circular arcs and that is the trick behind it. Okay? Try it for yourself.